New details in Hot Boy and Glock 9's RICO charges in Florida. Let's get into it, man. Make sure you hit that like, share, and subscribe. Now, I want y'all to go over to my Instagram page. Make sure y'all go over there and follow me on IG. Now, more information is coming out about this RICO case that's going on in Orlando. And it was posted up by one more for the gang on social media now this news comes from eyewitness news out of orlando their investigative reporters have basically come out with information showing that not only were they following people on social media to try to get the up on them with this rico case but they also had social media wiretaps that undercover agents used to build the rico case up check out what this investigative reporter had to say was used to help fund the local gang operations. Nearly a year ago, we first told you about a gang war that included drug trafficking and the murders of innocent children in Orange County. In July, more than two dozen people were arrested on state racketeering and conspiracy charges after a nine-month-long investigation. And since then, investigative reporter Darlene Jones has been working to find out how the alleged criminal enterprise and gangs operated. She's live in our studio tonight. Darlene, that's where you found out about the federal money that these alleged gang members received. Vanessa, I waited four weeks to get a copy of the investigative report you're about to hear about. It is no longer under seal. It's about 700 pages, and I had to read a majority of that to find out that at least four or five of these gang members allegedly applied for federal PPP and SBA loans that may have helped pay for drugs and guns, sometimes used to kill or commit other violent crimes. This state investigation gives us the first clear insight into the nine-month investigation. Undercover Orange County deputies and agents capturing every move of dozens of alleged drug dealers and their associates. As they flew into Orlando International Airport, dragging suitcases lined with drugs and tracking them back to trap houses throughout Orange County, where the drug operations were run in the middle of neighborhoods. They're putting together the case this whole time, so when it comes time to drop charges on these guys, they've got a mountain of evidence. More than 30 people have been arrested and charged under the state racketeering and conspiracy statute, meaning investigators believe the gangs were running a criminal enterprise. And the FBI warned in July federal charges were coming based on information gathered through wiretaps, allowing investigators to track phone calls and social media. You should see uh, several federal indictments coming out targeting the infrastructure that supported the financial part of these gangs. And the state records we reviewed helped us piece together some of that. This report provides documented proof that at least six people allegedly created LLCs, solicited people through social media, and in some cases stole identities to apply for PPP and SBA loans that were approved. They took screenshots showing proof where the money was deposited into bank accounts. If you're operating a RICO organization, then I mean, there's some degree of complexity, and the people who are who are doing this are are not unsophisticated people. Investigators believe the money was used to fuel the criminal enterprise that included guns and drugs picked up from this marijuana farm in California and flown back into Orlando. It was used to help. Man, now that's that's I mean, you know, it's more of what we already knew about this particular case, but it just shows how far that the FBI is willing to go to get people now. We do know that Glock 9 and other associates allegedly got these uh, PPP loans and things like that. Um, as well as, you know, we kind of knew about the situation with, you know, them showing stuff on social media that was used against them. Now, with those documents being unsealed, I'm pretty sure a hell of a lot more information will be coming out about this particular RICO case with Glock 9 and the rest of his homeboys. Now, the operation was called x Force and it targeted people in the orlando area man uh, a lot of people was tied to this particular situation here you got the lineup of certain in individuals and this post said these are nearly three dozen suspects arrested or wanted on racketeering or drug trafficking charges after a nine-month investigation to criminal gangs in the area now a lot of things is going on as far as gangs around the country a lot of these rico cases is happening and a lot of times more than ever there's one or two people who are involved in this who are either mainstream or high profile rap artists in their area now a lot of this stuff that's going on on social media 
is being publicized like to the extent where people is online showing straps showing hammers and as well as showing the large amounts of cash and money and as you've seen in that report they had pictures of all of that now a lot of these people will ultimately have to do some time it says that the feud in this particular article the feud between the gangs is what really caused the feds to have to step in and get at people it says a feud between gangs has been responsible for over 30 incidents and a number of homicides a number of bodies another a number of bodies was caught now when you mix you know what i mean the streets with street money you know what i mean and things that you slanging to be in the streets get paper with bodies it always history tells us this always happened you can look back as far as things that was going on in dc back in the 80s and the early 90s you can look at some of the crews that got took down in detroit you can look at some of the crews that even got took down in florida back in the day Anytime bodies start dropping, anytime people start getting clapped, anytime kids end up be becoming um, casualties of these incidents, the feds is coming in and they're going to do whatever they have to do to lock people up. Now, at the end of the day, you know, it doesn't take much for them to already want you. So when you're doing these type of things, when you beefing with people, when you went to it with people, whatnot, you just asking for them to come get you. And nobody in the streets is really prepared for the feds to come. I can tell you that from firsthand experience, you're not going to be prepared for the feds to come. Nobody's ever prepared to go to jail. You may have some money saved up, but when the feds come, and we ain't talking about no state time, when the feds come, trust me, you're not prepared because they're going to shut down every single source of income, any type of resources you would have to fight the case. They're going to take it from you, strip you from it, so that way you have no money to defend yourself. And at the end of the day, sometimes even the attorneys will turn down the case because it's a federal case. And I'm not sure if the feds is telling them don't take the case or not. I've heard that before. I'm not sure. I can't say that it's true. All I know is that everybody that I know who has ever caught a fed case took their asses to jail, man. Get in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think about this. I'm Amadi the Ruler. Make sure you hit that like, share, and subscribe button and click that notification bell so you get notified each and every time I upload new content. Peace.